Please welcome our next contestant, Mohammed Kwatani, The Power of Words. What? <laughs> oh, you all think smoking kills? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Do you know that the amount of people dying from diabetes are three times as many people dying from smoking? Yet if I pulled a snicker bar, nobody would say anything. <laughs> Do you know that the leading cause of lung cancer is that actually a cigarette? It's your DNA. You could smoke for years and nothing will ever happen to you. This whole war against smoking is just to restrict the farming of tobacco. Mr. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and guests, I use these arguments, even though I just made them up, <laughs> with a group of my friends. And the results, five of them believed what I said. Two of them started smoking. <laughs> Words, when said and articulated in the right way, can change someone's mind. They can alter someone's belief. You have the power to bring someone from the slums of life and make a successful person out of them. Or destroy someone's happiness using only your words. Does that seem a bit too good to be true? A simple choice of word can make a difference between someone accepting or denying your message. You can have a very beautiful thing to say, but say it in the wrong words and phew, it's gone. I have a son who's four and he had this bad habit of writing on the walls with crayons. And one evening I walked into his room and he's going at it, just writing and drawing and so on. And I said, hey, 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 hey. Are you stupid? <laughs> Don't you ever do that again. And guess what happened? He did it again. <laughs> Nobody likes to be threatened. Nobody likes to be intimidated. His pride would not allow it. He did it again just to spite me. A week later, I walked into his room and again, he's going at it. And this time he was even looking at me just... I came down and I said, sweetie, come here. Don't do that. You're a big boy now. And he never did it again. Because his pride wants him to be the big boy. My friend Nasser, he loved his father. Idealized his father. He would do anything to make him happy. But his father was the kind of person who's not easy to impress. And year after year, Nasser tried and his father was like, yeah. <laughs> First year in college, Nasser got straight A's. And he thought to himself, this is it. This is what will finally make my dad proud. He picked up the phone. He called his dad. Dad, I got straight A's. Are you proud? Please tell me you're proud, father. Yeah, listen, son, I'll have to call you back. I'm busy. I'm busy was the single sentence that broke the camel's back. And he started drinking, doing drugs, hanging out with the wrong crowd. Now, so why? Why are you throwing your life away? If the one person in the world that I care about the most doesn't care, then, then why should I? And one evening I got the phone call. Nasa's in the emergency room. 
drug overdose. I rushed to that hospital. I saw him on that bed. And I saw that machine go beep, beep, beep. And I saw doctors try to bring him back to life. Clear! 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 It's clear that a single word could have saved this life. Words have power. Words are power. Words could be your power. You can change a life, inspire a nation, and make this world a beautiful place. Isn't that what we all wanted? Isn't that what we are all in this hall? Your mouth can spit venom. Or it can mend a broken soul. Ladies and gentlemen, let that be our goal. Count to serve.